In Old World archaeology, Mesolithic Greek Mesos Mesos middle Lithos Lithos stone is the period between the Upper Paleolithic and the Neolithic. The term Epipaleolithic is often used synonymously, especially for outside Northern Europe, and for the corresponding period in the Levant and Caucasus. The Mesolithic has different time spans in different parts of Eurasia. It refers to the final period of hunter-gatherer cultures in Europe and West Asia, between the end of the last glacial maximum and the Neolithic Revolution. In Europe it spans roughly 15,000 to 5,000 BP, in Southwest Asia the Epipaleolithic Near East roughly 20,000 to 8,000 BP. The term is less used of areas further east, and not at all beyond Eurasia and North Africa. The type of culture associated with the Mesolithic varies between areas, but it is associated with a decline in the group hunting of large animals in favor of a broader hunter-gatherer way of life, and the development of more sophisticated and typically smaller lithic tools and weapons than the heavy chipped equivalents typical of the Paleolithic. Depending on the region, some use of pottery and textiles may be found in sites allocated to the Mesolithic, but generally indications of agriculture are taken as marking transition into the Neolithic. The more permanent settlements tend to be close to the sea or inland waters offering a good supply of food. Mesolithic societies are not seen as very complex, and burials are fairly simple. Grandiose burial mounds are another mark of the Neolithic. Topic. Terminology The terms Paleolithic and Neolithic were introduced by John Lubbock in his work Pre-Historic Times in 1865. The additional Mesolithic category was added as an intermediate category by Hodder Westrop in 1866. Westrop's suggestion was immediately controversial. A British school led by John Evans denied any need for an intermediate, the ages blended together like the colors of a rainbow, he said. A European school led by Louis Laurent Gabriel de Mortillet asserted that there was a gap between the earlier and later. Edouard Peat claimed to have filled the gap with his naming of the Azilian culture. Knut Stierna offered an alternative in the Epipaleolithic, suggesting a final phase of the Paleolithic rather than an intermediate age in its own right inserted between the Paleolithic and Neolithic. By the time of Vere Gordon Child's work, The Dawn of Europe 1947, which affirms the Mesolithic, sufficient data had been collected to determine that a transitional period between the Paleolithic and the Neolithic was indeed a useful concept. However, the terms Mesolithic and Epipaleolithic remain in competition, with varying conventions of usage. In the archaeology of Northern Europe, for example for archaeological sites in Great Britain, Germany, Scandinavia, Ukraine, and Russia, the term Mesolithic is almost always used. In the archaeology of other areas, the term Epipaleolithic may be preferred by most authors, or there may be divergences between authors over which term to use or what meaning to assign to each. In the New World, neither term is used except provisionally in the Arctic. Epipaleolithic is sometimes also used alongside Mesolithic for the final end of the Upper Paleolithic immediately followed by the Mesolithic. As Mesolithic suggests an intermediate period, followed by the Neolithic, some authors prefer the term Epipaleolithic for hunter-gatherer cultures who are not succeeded by agricultural traditions, reserving Mesolithic for cultures who are clearly succeeded by the Neolithic Revolution, such as the Natufian culture. Other authors use Mesolithic as a generic term for post-LGM hunter-gatherer cultures, whether they are transitional towards agriculture or not. In addition, terminology appears to differ between archaeological sub-disciplines, with Mesolithic being widely used in European archaeology, while Epipaleolithic is more common in Near Eastern archaeology. Topic. Europe. The Balkan Mesolithic begins around 15,000 years ago. In Western Europe, the early Mesolithic, or Azilian, begins about 14,000 years ago, in the Franco-Cantabrian region of northern Spain and southern France. In other parts of Europe, the Mesolithic begins by 11,500 years ago, the beginning Holocene, and it ends with the introduction of farming, depending on the region between ca. 8,500 and 5,500 years ago. 
Regions that experienced greater environmental effects as the last glacial period ended have a much more apparent Mesolithic era, lasting millennia. In Northern Europe, for example, societies were able to live well on rich food supplies from the marshlands created by the warmer climate. Such conditions produced distinctive human behaviors that are preserved in the material record, such as the Magalmajan and Azilian cultures. Such conditions also delayed the coming of the Neolithic until some 5500 BP in Northern Europe. The type of stone toolkit remains one of the most diagnostic features. The Mesolithic used a microlithic technology, composite devices manufactured with Mode V chipped stone tools, microliths, while the Paleolithic had utilized Modes IIV. In some areas, however, such as Ireland, parts of Portugal, the Isle of Man, and the Tyrrhenian Islands, a macrolithic technology was used in the Mesolithic. In the Neolithic, the microlithic technology was replaced by a macrolithic technology, with an increased use of polished stone tools such as stone axes. There is some evidence for the beginning of construction at sites with a ritual or astronomical significance, including Stonehenge, with a short row of large post holes aligned east-west, and a possible lunar calendar at Warren Field in Scotland, with pits of post holes of varying sizes, thought to reflect the lunar phases. Both are dated to before c. 9000 BP the 8th millennium BC, as the Neolithic package, including farming, herding, polished stone axes, timber longhouses and pottery spread into Europe, the Mesolithic way of life was marginalized and eventually disappeared. Mesolithic adaptations such as sedentism, population size and use of plant foods are cited as evidence of the transition to agriculture. In one sample from the Bladderholly in Hagen, it seems that the descendants of Mesolithic people maintained a foraging lifestyle for more than 2,000 years after the arrival of farming societies in the area. Such societies may be called subneolithic. In northeastern Europe, the hunting and fishing lifestyle continued into the medieval period in regions less suited to agriculture, and in Scandinavia, no Mesolithic period may be accepted, with the locally preferred older Stone Age moving into the younger Stone Age. Topic. Art Compared to the preceding Upper Paleolithic and the following Neolithic, there is rather less surviving art from the Mesolithic. The rock art of the Iberian Mediterranean basin, which probably spreads across from the Upper Paleolithic, is a widespread phenomenon, much less well known than the cave paintings of the Upper Paleolithic, with which it makes an interesting contrast. The sites are now mostly cliff faces in the open air, and the subjects are now mostly human rather than animal, with large groups of small figures. There are 45 figures at Roca dels Moros. Clothing is shown, and scenes of dancing, fighting, hunting, and food gathering. The figures are much smaller than the animals of Paleolithic art, and depicted much more schematically, though often in energetic poses. A few small engraved pendants with suspension holes and simple engraved designs are known, some from northern Europe in amber, and one from Star Car in Britain in shale. The elk's head of Hutanen is a rare Mesolithic animal carving in soapstone from Finland. The rock art in the Urals appears to show similar changes after the Paleolithic, and the wooden Shagir idol is a rare survival of what may well have been a very common material for sculpture. It is a plank of larch carved with geometric motifs, but topped with a human head. Now in fragments, it would apparently have been over 5 meters tall when made. The Ain Sakri lovers from modern Israel, are a Natufian carving in calcite. <inaudible> <inaudible> Ceramic Mesolithic In northeastern Europe, Siberia, and certain southern European and North African sites, a Ceramic Mesolithic can be distinguished between c. 9000 to 5850 BP. Russian archaeologists prefer to describe such pottery making cultures as Neolithic, even though farming is absent. This pottery making Mesolithic culture can be found peripheral to the sedentary Neolithic cultures. It created a distinctive type of pottery, with point or knob base and flared rims, manufactured by methods not used by the Neolithic farmers. Though each area of Mesolithic ceramic developed an individual style, common features suggest a single point of origin. The earliest manifestation of this type of pottery may be in the region around Lake Baikal in Siberia. It appears in the Elshin or Yelshanka or Samara culture on the Volga in Russia 9 Ka, and from there spread via the Dnieper Donetsk culture to the Narva culture of the Eastern Baltic. 
Spreading westward along the coastline it is found in the Urteboye culture of Denmark and Ellerbeck of northern Germany, and the related Swifterbant culture of the Low Countries. Cultures Near East The first period, known as Mesolithic I culture, from 20,000 to 18,000 BCE until 12,150 BCE, followed the Aurignacian or Levantine Upper Paleolithic periods throughout the Levant. By the end of the Aurignacian, gradual changes took place in stone industries. Small stone tools called microliths and retouched bladelets can be found for the first time. The microliths of this culture period differ greatly from the Aurignacian artifacts. This period is more properly called Epipaleolithic. By 20,000 to 18,000 BCE the climate and environment had changed, starting a period of transition. The Levant became more arid and the forest vegetation retreated, to be replaced by steppe. The cool and dry period ended at the beginning of Mesolithic I. The hunter-gatherers of the Aurignacian would have had to modify their way of living and their pattern of settlement to adapt to the changing conditions. The crystallization of these new patterns resulted in Mesolithic I. New types of settlements and new stone industries developed. The inhabitants of a small Mesolithic I site in the Levant left little more than their chipped stone tools behind. The industry was of small tools made of bladelets struck off single platform cores. Besides bladelets, burns and end scrapers were found. A few bone tools and some ground stone have also been found. These so-called Mesolithic sites of Asia are far less numerous than those of the Neolithic and the archaeological remains are very poor. The second period, Mesolithic II, is also called the Natufian culture. The change from Mesolithic I to Natufian culture can be dated more closely. The latest date from a Mesolithic I site in the Levant is 12,150 BCE. The earliest date from a Natufian site is 11,140 BCE. This period is characterized by the early rise of agriculture that would later emerge into the Neolithic period. Radiocarbon dating places the Natufian culture between 12,500 and 9,500 BCE, just before the end of the Pleistocene. This period is characterized by the beginning of agriculture. The earliest known battle occurred during the Mesolithic period at a site in Sudan known as Cemetery 117. Natufian culture is commonly split into two subperiods, early Natufian 12,500-10,800 BCE Christopher Delage gives c. 13,000-11,500 BP uncalibrated, equivalent to c. 13,700-11,500 BCE and late Natufian 10,800-9,500 BCE. The late Natufian most likely occurred in tandem with the younger Dryas. The following period is often called the pre-pottery Neolithic, in the Levant, unlike elsewhere. Mesolithic pottery is not talked of. Topic. Mesolithic outside of Western Eurasia While Paleolithic and Neolithic have been found useful terms and concepts in the archaeology of China, and can be mostly regarded as happily naturalized, Mesolithic was introduced later, mostly after 1945, and does not appear to be a necessary or useful term in the context of China. Chinese sites that have been regarded as Mesolithic are better considered as early Neolithic. In the archaeology of India, the Mesolithic, dated roughly between 12,000 and 8,000 BP, remains a concept in use. In the archaeology of the Americas, an archaic or Meso Indian period, following the Lithic stage, somewhat equates to the Mesolithic. See also Holocene Hunter gatherer Caucasian hunter gatherer Western hunter gatherer, List of Stone Age art, Younger Dryas, Mammoth extinction, History underscore of underscore archery hashtag prehistory. References <laughs> <laughs>